what is good jitlets welcome to another trading transformation so yesterday i ended up taking three trades and it was during pm session so i'm going to make a trading transformation on how i would go about trading pm session after this video but within this video i pretty much applied that inverse fair value gap confluence um strategy whatever execution point um to go over, wait, what are we? I just woke up and I'm trying to make a trade recap. Let's lock in. Okay. Anyways, trade recap. Chill. Um, trade recap. I took three trades yesterday. Two hit take profit. One got stopped out. Um, and the one that got stopped out was an additional position added on, um, which I probably shouldn't have done, but whatever. It was using the inverse for value gap confluence to demonstrate how that it's used and it worked fucking perfectly. And on top of that, I traded PM session yesterday and I'm about to trade PM session now. So I'm going to make a little YouTube video on how I go about trading PM session, especially after doing it in Hawaii and it working really fucking well. It's super similar to AM session, but we just use different like slightly different draws on liquidity and uh, concepts. So I'll make a video on that after I upload this little trade recap for you guys. But anyways, let's get into the three, three trades um, demonstrating how we can use that inverse fair value gap as a confluence. So this was the first trade on ES. So we'll go over what we were looking for here. So on the four hour, we were obviously bullish. On the hourly, we were bullish as well. Okay, this was AM session. There wasn't much much action. It was a no news Monday. And then this is PM session, um, and there was a lot more action. So with that being said, we scale into the five minute time frame, and this is kind of going to, going to be going into what we expect to see during PM session, where instead of using high time frame draws on liquidity, we're using lower time frame draws on liquidity to try and take trades. So I marked out these five minute lows that were made right after PM session. I also marked out this five minute order block. We can see we come down, sweep out these lows, continue higher. So high time, high low time frame confluence that we see price draw into. And then Within there, we can scale into the one minute and we can see my entry point. So PM session starts and we get a big leg up forming this fair value gap along with uh, these were those five minute lows. We see those five minute lows get pushed into fair value gap gets filled perfectly. And then we have this bearish fair value gap. Again, our bias is bullish. How can we use this bearish fair value gap as a confluence? Okay. Um, so what did I do? I waited for this one minute fair value gap to get filled. We fill in our lower time frame, uh, or I guess high time frame, but still lower time frame confluence, fair value gap. Boom, we invalidate that bearish fair value gap. I go long on that. I put my stops underneath these five minute lows. In reality, I could have put it a little bit tighter, um, but it's okay. And then from there, I marked out this one minute fair value gap, but that never ended up getting hit because my first, it literally like first take profit and only take profit ended up getting hit like instantly three minutes later. So this trade was pretty fucking simple. Um, I'll go over more about how I identify like confluences to take trades during PM session because it's pretty much the exact same strategy. We're just using lower time frame draws on liquidity um, as our entry as our entry points. But anyways, we came into this five minute order block. We came into this one minute fair value gap. We invalidated this uh, one minute bearish fair value gap, closed above it. That was my reason to go long. And then take profit um, was just purely based off of the top of this one hour breaker. I set another potential take profit all the way up here, but I was like, eh, you know, I don't really see much price or much more volatility coming from PM session, especially because AM session was so slow and there was no news at all. And there's no news 
pretty much for this entire week. So rel going to be a relatively slow week in terms of price action. So I was like, fuck it, I'm just going to close everything here. But we can see that if we can even get over here, that take profit would have been hit as well if I had just let it rock. Um, but yeah, that was the first trade on ES. Um, and we can see the, I mean, you guys don't necessarily know the PM session strategy just yet, but we can see we come down after hitting that draw on liquidity or not necessarily draw on liquidity imbalance that wanted to get filled. We come down, sweep out lows again, break structure. I'm sure that there would have been an entry within here. Fuck it, we can even like go in here and find it. Um, yeah, we get a break of structure right here fill of this fair value gap and then bullish reaction out of that cool could have gone long off off of that stops under here if you put your stops underneath this low you probably would have been stopped out um but you probably could have gotten a re-entry off of the break right here and then some sort of other confluence on the way up um but i loved my entry on this this was my first trade and then my second trade was pretty much the same exact thing um but on nasdaq so let's go into that. And then, like I said, the, um, the second trade was just a added on position, which ended up getting stopped out. So we'll go into this similar situation. We were bullish on the four hour, bull bullish on the hourly. I marked out these five minute lows right here that were made uh, pretty much right at the start of AM, or sorry, right at the start of PM session. We can see we come down, sweep out those lows. We fill in this, uh, five minute order block as we can see we sweep out these lows legs higher after that okay so we touch into this five minute order block we sweep out these five minute lows go into the one minute okay and again it was that same exact confluence same exact entry except we didn't have a fair value gap as confluence we had a sweep of uh liquidity okay and then touch into this five minute order block from there Oh, sorry. I'm stupid. I entered off this break of structure. Not bearish for value gap. Okay, but anyways, we have this one minute high right here. And instead of a bearish for value gap getting invalidated, we had a tiny one. Let me get rid of this. Oops. We had a tiny one. But to me, like, I want to see, I guess more of a sh like you know h how much value is this fair value gap gonna be not much but anyways we invalidate that fair value gap along with breaking one minute structure cool entered off that stops underneath these lows that were made again that es entry could have been a better risk reward uh this one was a one to two point one okay entered here stops underneath here um, my one and only take profit was based off the end of this one hour imbalance right here that price would likely want to go seek out. We can see that price ended up going there, but after a decent amount of consolidation after that first leg up, which never hit take profit. And then that's where I kind of fucked up and took another trade because I thought price was just going to continue that way. And this is where that bearish fair value gap um entry strategy kind of fucked me up because i did it way later um i was really just trying to showcase uh how you guys can use it but anyways we see that we get that big leg up invalidate this bearish fair value gap break structure to the upside that was the first entry i let that one rock um because the one and only take profit was up here okay and then we can see that we have this bearish fair value gap this bearish fair value gap we come through and we respect it and then I entered off of us breaking above it, coming down. Nibbas are out here mowing the lawn. I can't get any peace of quiet. Anyways, we invalidate those and then we come down, fill in equilibrium. I could have entered purely just based off of this invalidation or this invalidation. Um, but I'm not going to lie. I was kind of playing scared. Come on, man. 
I was kind of playing scared, and I wanted more of a confluence, and it still ended up biting me in the ass. So we see Price come down, fill in this equilibrium, and again, this was a stupid trade to take because we were already in this trade. I just added more risk onto the table to demonstrate the fucking concept um, and ended up biting me in the ass with a tighter stop loss. So we see Price come down, fill in equilibrium, and then I entered off of this candle to the upside, got a slightly higher fill. Stops were put underneath this one minute um, low because again that's where equilibrium was like ended or where my trade where my trade would have been invalidated so again we get a slight push up i'm super lit and then we end up coming down sweeping out these lows we sweep out these five minute lows um this trade still held after a lot of consolidation and then boom price ends up ripping up hitting that and then moving even further to get to the upside so two wins one loss yesterday demonstrating the inverse fair value gap confluence or reason for entry overall really solid trading day um hit really good risk rewards on this um and especially after yesterday if I'm ever in another time zone where AM session or if AM session just doesn't look good, I'll probably just say like, fuck it. I, I really enjoyed trading PM session and I really look forward to trading PM session uh, this time around because I'm trading on a lot lower time frames than I usually am. So take profits or stop losses get hit a lot quicker um, than my normal strategy, which is a little bit higher time frame where I'm waiting for higher time frame confluences. Um, so if price action during AM session looks really shitty or if we have like super high impact news an hour before AM session, um, who knows? I'll probably just like wait it out until PM session and then trade my PM session strategy, which I'm going to make a trading transformation video on right now. So those were the two trades I took on NASDAQ. That was the one trade I took on ES. Overall, really solid trading day, um, and I'll kind of go into why I took the trades based off of these lower time frame confluences um, while trading in PM session right now. So stay tuned for that video. I appreciate you boys. Trading, trade recap, done.